What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Bait with four-time F1 world champion, Lewis Hamilton. I should have worn these today. I like the high tops. High tops more for me. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's do it. Let's go. Lewis, you said in a recent interview that you're running out of room for your sneakers. Did you do a purge or, or is no, the I, apartment still crazy? I run out of room, man. Really? I need to get a bigger place. <laughs> How many shoes Honestly, do you think you have? Pairs? Over a few hundred. Wow. It's really messy. I like all my, my whole closet and my bedroom and the spare bedroom is completely taken up by kicks. And then now it's like all over the bedroom floor and the spare bedroom. So if, you know, when I have people come and stay over, they- They have to climb they, over. Yeah, they're tripping over shoes. It's pretty bad. Like, wow. you have some old ones that they're a little bit scuffed up, but you they still mean love a lot. them. Yeah, yeah and you can And I end up keeping ones, so I have, I, I still have trainers from ages ago. So when I was younger, you know, we we didn't really have, we didn't have a, a lot of money, so I had that one pair for the year. So I was always keeping them fresh. So I didn't want, I couldn't go and play football on the, on, on the playground because I didn't want to scuff up the kicks. So and now you have excess, but yeah, you I always do, remember. I do, but I take the same absolutely. pride in the ones I have. You know, I keep them clean, and it's crazy obviously because now, you know, I'm a Puma athlete, so yeah, have a lot of trainers from Puma, yeah. so. When did you really start to enjoy sneakers? Was it high school, was it middle school? What was it like? I went to a school where you wore uniforms so you couldn't even okay. wear your own kicks, which which I hated. But all the money went into racing. And my dad's like, if you don't really need them, it goes into the racing, yeah. so. Do you remember your first pair of Jordans? My first Jays were probably, I think the infrared. Sixes, okay, yeah. good one. But I, I had to save up for them, because. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was not easy to find. I had to go online. Wow. Um, and I still have them. Lewis, we've seen a lot of new Puma collaborations. Rihanna with the Fenty line and The Weeknd having the EXO line. When are we gonna see a lifestyle Lewis Hamilton Puma? I'm working on it. You know, it's been a dream always to be able to work with a brand like Puma. Mm -hmm. And particularly to start a new journey with them where they're starting to really come out with great, great creations. You know, obviously we talk about the Clydes back in the day, that will always be a you know, historic kick, but the new ones that they're coming out with. Jammings. Woo! Yeah. I just got a pair of these. I haven't worn them yet, but this is the future, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, with the XOs, I mean, I like that they're bringing, with uh, the weekend, obviously, they bring a lot of the lifestyle into it, so it's not only for athletes, it's, you know, yeah. they've got great athletic gear and trainers. The new trainers for running are amazing. But these are perfect. Now, let me ask, if you got a chance to design your own racing shoe or an out-of-the-car lifestyle shoe, which one do you think you put more emphasis on or equal? Well, the thing is, with our with our racing boots, it's all about weight. Okay. So they're like socks, and they're not particularly good-looking or anything like that. I mean, they, I have them just real clean white with a, with a black uh, strap down the side of it. But um, I would want to do something more for the lifestyle. Yeah. You know? High top, low top, what do you think? I'm generally more of a, a high top. Probably not as high as, as the XO, for example. A little bit shorter than that. I see he's put a little bit of height in the in yeah. the actual sole. Yeah. Height is a problem when you're around see, these that's supermodels. That's the cheat <laughs> code, code for him, you know? The goal and the, you know, the vision is to do something with them, but in, in all due time, right you know, time yeah. the right timing. But I, I like being creative and I like working with creative people. So I look forward to, to getting and um, sitting with some of the designers and, you know, and when I do that, I come by a store like this or- For inspo? My house is like a store anyway. So, yeah. Um, yeah. and just go through all the different styles of things that I've loved from the past. Mm -hmm. Jordans were always my favorites. Yeah. Like I have just this one closet that just is just full of- Crazy. Old oh, job, yeah. Old did, you, did you collect most of them or what? sevens? Mm -hmm. So they, they were crazy. Yeah. Thirteens. Yeah. It's cool when you see that Michael Jordan got to wear all these different yeah. kicks on the classic. And, and what he's created, that's I think that's he's set the bar so high for ev anybody, right. every athlete, anyone. Um, but then again, you're seeing people like Kanye come out with, yeah. you know, the new Ford look, mm -hmm. and even Pharrell's killing it. Lewis, you're one of a kind, whether we're talking about performance, driving, or when it comes to your fashion and how you put things together. Were you always like this as a kid, standing out, or no? No, I definitely was, wasn't. I think um, as a kid, I was very shy. Okay. And naturally, you know, always wanted to blend in with people. It took a long time to kind of come out of my shell and go in my own direction. And obviously, lots and lots of mistakes. 
really? <laughs> uh, in terms of you know what you choose and you know until you eventually find your 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 style. But the crazy thing is, as you learn about fashion, it's moving at such a fast pace. Do you think it's a great time to see the crossover? You see sneakers on the runway now. And people like Kanye have really kind of helped move that in that direction. Yeah. Obviously with Pharrell as well. And you see Virgil coming out and doing some yeah. crazy things. I'm just an observer and I'm watching and I'm, I love seeing all these creative individuals doing something and, and really bursting the bubble and doing something new. So I think it's cool that they're now bringing it onto the runway. You talked about Virgil, Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God. I know you wore those and I know you wore the off-white. Talk about what those guys are doing and, you know, kind of independently with their own brands. Huge respect for Jerry and obviously he's, you know, he's a great family man. Um, and I just love, he just sticks to his craft. He's working so hard and he's been really helpful in, in you know, um, I met him a few times at fashion shows yeah. and New York Fashion Week just recently we're hanging out. And I like to try and get in the, uh, in the mind of the designers because, yeah. you know, I'm a racing driver, so... I know my craft better than anyone else, but to view and witness, I want to understand what they're thinking when they're, yeah. you know, what are you thinking? How, how are you trying to think out of the box and forward thinking before everyone else catches up? Right. Um, so I really like what he's doing. And um, yeah, I've been obviously wearing the new Fear of God yeah, uh, high tops. So Lewis, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part, get the browser shells, pick up some sneakers. Perfect, let's go. get a pair of these. Do you have these in a the tent? Yeah. Great. Um, I'm gonna get some more though. I would like to get the high top clients and maybe XOs on those in the tent as well. That'd be great. And maybe put these pieces. Okay. I think that's it. Alright your total is $574.85. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Lewis came through, got four pairs of sneakers. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks so much for having me, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Appreciate it. Make sure everyone checks them out, winning more trophies on the F1 circuit. Hey.